Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Cyberpunk 2077. I have not had my PlayStation 5 for very long, but I am already finding that my controller is filthy. I have greasy hands though, so... So, we are continuing to look for graffiti after releasing the uh, Delamain AI into the world from last episode. That was wild. That was a fun, <laughs> fun experience. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and do some more of this, just hunting down some collectibles here. So, looks like there's one down here. Let's go grab that. I should probably use my fast cone, huh? I'm also waiting for a pizza to be delivered, so, uh... When that happens, I'm probably going to have to pause this recording. It'll happen sometime during this episode, I'm pretty sure. If it doesn't, something's gone wrong. a lot of time in this part of town, that's for sure. It's <laughs> a lot of smoke down there. What's going on? Voodoo boys. Okay, we haven't really dealt with them as a as a as a group yet. The hermit. Cool. That makes sense. I don't think there's any more down here. Okay. Anything over here on this right hand side? Probably switch my legend. So legend, and then it's gonna be. I think yeah, it'll show up with these. Look, there's two like right here. Why can't I track you? I can't track that one for some reason. So one, two, three, four. Oh, there's one way up here. I don't think we've ever been up here. We've spent some time over on this side of things, but never up north. Okay. I think I'm gonna hit that up. So it's right around our own mega building tower. Nah, we'll go around to the elevator. I wish the teleport was at the bottom, but I guess it makes sense to put it here, actually, so... Okay. 
605 versus our... Oh, wow. No, that's not accurate, though, is it? 492, is that really how weak ours is right now? That one has extra crit chance and stuff because it's purple. 605. Wow. Hold on, when I look at it on this screen... No, okay, yeah. Well, shit. Holy crap. So we could actually use this if we could buy it, but it costs 60,000 eddies? Oh, ladies and gents, I think we have ourselves a goal. Look at that crit chance, 27, and it has three mod slots. Um, I'm saving up for this. I hope that once we save up for it, it doesn't tell us like, oh, hey, now you're actually level locked too. I hope it would tell us that right now if it was like two different things that we were locked behind. But I think that if we bought this, we'd be able to use it. Almost 1,200 DPS. Okay, that's our goal. We need 60,000 eddies. <laughs> we have... We're, we're almost halfway there. We can do this. 60,000 eddies for that, uh... For that legendary. That's insane. Okay, sell you. Sell you. Well, we can sell both of those. Level requirement doesn't even matter at this point. Now that I have my pizza, I'm ready to go. Okay. So we need to mark, uh, where was it? Oh, there's one here. And then there's one north of us. Oh, we got like three that are right by us. Let's get... There we go. Hell yeah, and he's in it. But seriously, they said it on TV. A little bit of athletics experience, all right. Um, chariot. This one's gonna be chariot. Oh, the sun. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, I figured that maybe this was the chariot. <laughs> Sun totally makes sense too. idea. Watch this one be Chariot. Yep, okay. <laughs> that one was Chariot. 
I just went off. I just went off, guys. And we crashed. Cool. This is why I'm saving after every single one. Yay. Okay, what crash is that? 12? No, crash 13. All right, crash 13. Okay, we're going to try this again. gets a little squirrely <laughs> as much finer controls than what I'm used to okay, that's probably it right there Well, we already got death. There's a bunch of other faces. Um, I, what's the infinity? The magician, okay, okay. Oh yeah, I have to check my settings, don't I? Um, copyrighted music still on. We're still in HDR mode. We still have our dead zone set, good. Okay. Alright, there was one way up north. I know that. And there's one over here. So let's get this one. I could have sworn there was a fast travel right near this building. Oh look, there's one up here too. Maybe we'll fast travel here. It looks like this the road goes under here. So we'll be right next to it, huh? The loading times are actually still pretty good on the PS5, considering that we're still running the PS4 version. Okay, let's switch our marker to this one instead, and then we'll follow it down to this one afterwards. Are we even able to get here? Oh, okay, it goes underground right there, so yes. turns like it's nothing. Kind of. <laughs> Whoa! See what I mean?
might be a little too squirrely. Hello, V. I have an Arch Nazar. Oh, let's go. Cool. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if I'll even be able to get in here. This place looks like it's abandoned. Oh, it's a drive-in theater. Oh, cool. Nice to see they have drive-in theaters in this world. Maybe it shut down. No! No severance packages. They're shutting it down. How could they? Right after I just said it was so nice that this existed in the world. And they shut it down? Monsters. Authorization not found. Seriously? Well, overshot that. Maybe I can get it through the fence. Is it going to be on the back side? Ugh, that looks awful. Scrolling across that way. So can I not get in there until I get some kind of like mission that takes me there or something? Oh. Nope, we got it. Lovers. Couldn't even see it, but eh. Eh. I mean, I can you're there. No idea. Okay. Well, we got it. Oh, it's Mitch. Fix the Basilisk. That's my new model. It's going to be beautiful when it's finished. Even if we all go down for this, it was worth it. If anything notable happens, I'll be the first to let you know. Things aren't too great over here. Saul's always giving Pan Am shit like there's no tomorrow. Damn, dude. Stop being a dick, Saul. Part of my fight with this might be my dead zone's a little bit too wide. Yeah, I think that might have been part of it. Sorry! Were those... Nah, we'll just keep going. <laughs> I think that was actually a reported crime area. We probably could have done that, but... Ah!
What's this? Arasaka? Yeah, what is this? Well, at least this one's, uh, on the outside. Wolves only howl at night. So this one's moon. Okay. So there's three more. We know one of them's up north, all the way up north. Oh, here's one. So we know where two of them are. Is the third one somewhere in between? No. So we got that one, the one we have marked, and then there's one more somewhere. Maybe the last one doesn't show up until we get the other two? That's possible, right? Like the last one will be the world or something? Is it out here somewhere? No. Okay, let's get the two that we can find then. Where am I going? To that one. Emperor. All right, I guess we're going here. That's the furthest, furthest north we can go. I like that just pushing right without holding it just calls whatever the last vehicle was you you uh you called to you. This is a nice car, but I still think that I like the uh, motorcycles. I don't know, they just like weave in and out of things much easier. But this is a very nice car. Of course, if I hadn't have bought this, then I could have bought that legendary katana, so... There's that. My goodness. This would not be a good, uh, off-roader. So I think that we actually have to drive by, uh... 
transport points in order to activate them, because this transport point didn't show up on our map. Does it show up now? Yes, it does. So yeah, we actually do have to drive by them in order to activate them. I didn't realize that. Ah, oh, don't get yourself stuck. What did I just say? <laughs> I jinxed myself. So what's this one gonna be? Hanged man. That's hanged man. Okay. 19 out of 20. I don't know where the last one is. Okay, let's go ahead and save. Alright, let's turn our legend on. Uh, not fast travel. Alright, this should limit the number of icons, which should help us locate it a little bit easier. It's gotta be somewhere over here, right? No? Maybe? No? There it is. Ah! I must have hovered over that a billion times, huh? Okay, right over here, down this road is gonna be that fast travel we just unlocked. There's this techie, Big Pete. He just made an appearance in the Badlands, only I'd rather he hadn't. Catch my meaning? I'm sending some info on this static scum your way. Okay. What's this one going to be? Let's see. There was priestess, lovers, and... Oh, star. That, that totally makes sense. Cool. The Wandering Fool got a trophy for that. Nice. You know, something I'm going to... I'll, uh, like, I give this game is, like... It really does give you lots of reasons and ways to spend your money. Where is this teleport? It's right next to me. Where are you at? There, are, there there's like, I don't know. I feel like the economy is pretty well adjusted so far. Like things are expensive to buy and like you, you earn enough money somewhat quickly but like not so fast that you just like we'll we'll see where we're at at the end of the game but like i don't know every time we get a large amount of money we we spend it so
All right, let's go talk to Misty. Saw more of those freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? Well, they're all tarot. All just a bunch of tarot cards. Twenty arcana. Pretty sure my brain's now beyond repair. The tarot tells the story of a fool's journey. Show me what you found. I'll tell you what's left. Here. Mm. You're still missing two arcana: judgment and the devil. Okay. My guess is that they relate to a turning point in your life. One that's soon to arrive. Hmm. What's this judgment about? One possible future. Of redemption, transition, awakening. The angel with the trumpet symbolizes the end of an era. And a call to rebirth. To a new beginning. Dope. Devil's not as bad as it sounds, actually. But it can be. Rather not run into the devil. Got a feeling he's bad vibes. That's the card of primal dormant desires, but also the will to survive. Hmm. Doesn't sound so bad, actually. It also represents a false world. The trap these desires <laughs> lay for you. There it is. Reverse card. What's up with the wandering fool? The fool is you and Silverhand. You've traveled a long road together. Discovered your potential. Where are we headed? Your destination is the world, the final Arcanum. Both of you waged a war on the world. So there are two possibilities. Declare victory, or make peace. Could lose the war too. Yes. Unfortunately, that's true. Declare victory or make peace. That sounds like two different endings, doesn't it? Thanks. Didn't get much out of that, but... Thanks. You'll understand when the time comes. I can't explain everything. All the tarot can tell me is that you will reach the world by one of four paths. Meaning? The final leg of the journey goes through the sun, the star, temperance, or the devil. Could just die. Not even get that far. <laughs> oh, come on. Way to look at you it. won't let that happen. Take this. It's all I can do to help. Okay. What's that? Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. What'd she give us? It looked like a dream catcher. Does it have any RPG effect? No? Okay. Did it show up in our inventory somewhere? <laughs> I don't I don't know what that's gonna do for us, if anything. Okay, well that one is done. Very good stuff. Go ahead and make sure we save and uh, figure out what we're going to do next, huh? So, I mean, do we have any easy missions? No, everything's moderate at this point, except for you. Go to the police stash. Sure. Okay, let's go grab that stash, and that'll probably end out this episode. get pretty good money for doing some of the uh, police crime things. Maybe we should start doing those more as we run into them, just because we are saving up for money. Like, there's an assault up here. Maybe we should go and do that.
Wow, they didn't stand a chance, did they? Okay, got some items, and then doesn't the police actually pay us something too? Job complete. Okay, got some masks. Do they also give us money? Maybe? Maybe not. Maybe we just get whatever we find. Nope, there it is. 740 eddies. God, I love this double jump. Yeah, we've been spending our money on good things. That's that's for damn sure. There's no doubt in my mind. All right, 55, 55, 55, one C, and then E9, 55. Woo, baby. Paranoid. I'm like, I feel like I have to save all the time now. I really hope they get that bug fixed. Whatever it is that's causing all these crashes. Okay, it seems like every time I try to help the cops, I get myself in trouble. So what do you need help with, guys? Guys, there's nothing happening here. You realize that, right? Why? What am I doing wrong? Am I supposed to ignore those? Like... I don't understand. Maybe that's a warning to stay away? I thought it was a thing to go and help them. Freaking dumb. No, don't go that way. Still coming, huh? Take cover! Move it! Assholes. Okay, don't run him over. We'll get in more trouble. Cops are technically still after me right now. Is this the same place where the uh, the brawl is happening? Might be. Nah, different place. Cops left me be. That's good. Anything else to grab up here? Don't be fooled by 
foreign propaganda. Get the latest trusted scoop on Night City only on N54 News. It's kind of fun being able to jump around on the rooftops. Kind of like this. Alright, at any rate, I think we need to end this episode, so uh, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll figure out what we're doing in the next episode in the next episode. So, have a good one, everybody.